Hey folks! Welcome to Mecha Plays South Park, The Stick of Truth. Uh, first off, I want to thank Rio Planeswalker for the donation of this game. Um, I was going to hold off and picking it up for a while, but he uh, was very, very gracious and do donated the game to me, so I figured as a bit of a reward, I'd play through it as soon as possible. Um, for those in the li watching this live on twitch.tv slash mechagm, which is where I'm recording this, uh, is the audio how's the audio sounding right now? Is the music too loud still? If it is, I'll turn it down a bit. In relation to my voice, just making sure. Well, we'll start up a game here, but we'll... Let me know if the audio is too loud. But, uh... Robert T. Pooner presents a Pooner Pictures production. Deep in the lands of Zara, the humans of Koopa Keep struggle to stay alive as they are attacked by the wicked drow elves of Larnia. Darkness falls as the humans beg their king to save them. A noble king known only as the Grand Wizard. Forty. For a thousand years, the battle has been waged, with only the bravery of the Grand Wizard to protect his human followers. But even though the Wizard King is so undeniably cool, the Drow Elf armies continue their attack. They seek the human's most treasured relic, the Stick of Truth. But the tides of war soon change, as news of a new kid spreads throughout the land. In order to save the humans, the Grand Wizard must get to the new kid before the Drow Elves can manipulate his man and use him to take the sacred relic from human hands. For whomever controls the stick controls the universe. Alright. <laughs> okay, so we're making our character here. Spray tan. That's hilarious. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Go with that for now. We'll sort of see what we got here. Afro with a pick. Oh, you can change the color too. That's a lot of options.
purple or dark blue? What do you guys think? You want to go dark blue? Oh my god, he looks traumatized. Chin, black eye. The double chin. Prickles under his eyes. Huge birthmark. Mole. Rosy cheeks. Scar over the eye. Scar on the cheek. And a tear dropped in two. Oh my god. I think we're gonna go with the scar of the eye just because it's amusing. And now we decide if he wears glasses. I think we're just gonna go, we're gonna go no glasses. And so... Thus we begin the game. That's everything. We did it, hun. We're really moved in. It's a new beginning for us. Things are finally going to be good. Do you really think it will be better for him? They won't look for him here. We just need to make sure he doesn't attract any attention. Come on, let's see how he's doing. Sweetie, hun, you all dressed? Hey, champ. How do you like your new room? I know it's a big change for all of us, but... Son, do you... remember why we moved to this quiet little mountain town? He doesn't remember. He doesn't remember at all. That's good, that's good he doesn't remember. Uh, sweetie? We want you to have lots of fun here. Why don't you go out and make some friends? Right, get outside and play, son. Like... like normal kids. We've got some money for you on the kitchen counter, sweetie. Just be back before it gets dark. Yeah, we love you too. <laughs> oh my god, his mohawk is glorious. Alright, so you move around using the that, alright. Storage, alright. God, the animation is so, like, perfect for South Park. Uh, I have a fish. This is just already, I'm already math locked, alright. 
Bathroom, all right. Yeah, one of the things I picked up from watching other people playing this, on I've watched a few people streaming this, bits and pieces. And so the things that are marked with little yellow things, uh, like the golden handles, are things you can open. Hello, Calborn, welcome to the chat. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, I am streaming this live, and uh, we'll be chatting with the chat occasionally. Wait, seriously? You're joking. Wait, I can... Take it. That's, uh... Okay, well, um... That's alright, then. It's South Park. That shouldn't surprise me. I black. Small health. Cheesy poofs are small health potions. Okay, I love it. That's great. Two dollar. No, no. Go on outside, sweetie. Go look around the neighborhood. Fine. It wasn't a request, it was a command. Now get out there and make some friends. Okay. Aha! It's my quest log. You can move through quests using active quests. Alright, and press A again on the active... Alright, that's cool. That's actually really cool. Alright. Yep. Throw this turret at your enemies to gross them out. Okay, and cheese boost restore forty percent of your health. Cool. No humans. You shall die by my warhammer, Drow Elf. Yeah, uh, I banish thee to the forest realm. That way, I banish you first. Butters. Ah, you can't hold out much longer. Help! Somebody! I can't hold out much longer. Help! Ow! 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 Hey, no fair! That's cheating. I'm gonna tell my mom. Thanks, kid. I didn't realize he had a health potion. My name is Butters the Merciful. I'm a paladin. I live right next door to you. We should be friends. Okay, Butters is now a friend. Message from friends will be showing up on your homepage. Oh god, it's like Facebook. <laughs> oh my god. You can collect in Pokemon. Oh my god. Now that we're friends, you should speak with the Wizard King. He's been talking about your arrival. The wizard lives this way, in the greenhouse, over there. Hey, where are you from? Where'd you live before moving here? You like Colorado? Oh, hail the Grand 
wizard. So, you are the new kid. Your coming was foretold by Coldwell Bank. <laughs> I am the wizard king. But the time for talk is not now. Let me show you my kingdom. Oh, who's your new friend, Eric? Shut up, Mom. Not now. Don't talk to her, she's not part of the game. Oh, cool. Evil Cartman goatee, Cartman's garage key, some cash, and an Okama game sphere. I'll make sure off the TV, but I won't. I'll be nice. Welcome to the kingdom of Koopa Keep. The kingdom of Koopa Keep. Oh my god. And he's the Grand Wizard. Our weapon shop here is tended oh, by oh Clyde, God. a level 14 warrior. Here you can see our massive stables, overseen by the level 9 ranger, Scott Malkinson, who has the power of diabetes. And here, of course, is the breathtaking and lovely Princess Kinney, the fairest maiden in all the kingdom. Don't ask why Kinney wanted to be a chick, it's just how he seems to be rolling right now. Okay, sure. <laughs> you may have heard of my deeds at the Battle of Stark's Pod. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. That's the line the Grand Wizard gave me. Sorry, but the Grand Wizard told me to stick to the script. All right. My loyalty is as incurable as my diabetes. The power of diabetes is both a gift and a curse, but mostly a curse. The Grand Wizard would hold snacks if we talk off script. Stick to your lines. No talking, Scott. <sighs> the Rock of Insanity. Be careful. The Rock of Insanity holds mysterious powers. Okay, you're insane now. If you want to be healed, you must gaze at the rock again. Okay, you're healed. Okay, you're insane now. Okay, you're healed. Okay. Sure. Can't use the pool of vision. Oh, good. A flower for Princess Kenny. Okay. And I, I can go up the ladder. Behold the distant realm of downtown, home of corrupt merchant lords and homeless people. Cool. <laughs> oh god. Alright, uh, let's see. I know it is a massive kingdom, but you'll learn to find your way around. The wizard's stump. Perhaps one day I will show you what it does. Ah, you have located the training area where our massive army learns to fight. You have been sought out, new kid, because humans everywhere are in great danger. I need something from you, and in return, I am prepared to allow you into my kingdom. I know you are very excited. It's time for your first quest, but first, please tell us thy name. My name is, uh... This is a reference that you may or may not get if, unless you're, you, I'm not sure if you're old, if you, you may or may not be old enough to get this reference. <laughs> His hair is the wrong color, but whatever. You entered Douchebag, is that correct? No, I entered Vivian. As a reference to the young ones. Are you sure you want to keep the name Douchebag? Uh, no. I want to be called Vivian. Very well, Douchebag. <laughs> you will now choose a class. Fighter, Mage, Thief, or Jew. So our choices are fighter. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. Jew, huh? 
So I guess we'll never really be friends. Oh god. You look sneaky enough to be a thief. A mage is like a wizard, only not as cool. A fighter has courage, honor, and the ability to kick fucking ass. Alright, well, virtually everybody I've seen play this game has been playing the Jew, so I don't want to do that. I want to do something different. Let's go fighter. Why not? We welcome to our kingdom, Douchebag the Fighter. Hooray! Now please, go and visit the weapon shop. Procure yourself a weapon and we shall teach you to fight. <laughs> I love how the headband cuts into my mohawk. Would you like to see my wares, weary traveler? Perhaps you would like to hear tips and rumors for two dollars? Sure. Don't waste your money on tips and rumors. Of course. But don't let it bother you that there's a game to be played. All right, we'll buy our warrior's blade. Ah, a lovely purchase. Yep, KKK. It's, it's the Kingdom of Koopa Keep. KKK. Oh my god. And Cartman is the Grand Wizard, of course. Oh my god. Really? <laughs> New kid has checked out everything in my backyard. Hardcore gamer. Wow. Procured a weapon. Nice. It's now time to teach you how to fight. I want you to take your new weapon and, with the bravery of a noble knight, beat up Clyde. What? Kick Clyde's ass, new kid. What I do? I'm the king, Clyde, and the king wishes to be amused. Go on, new kid, of kick course. his ass. I'm gonna kick your ass. Clyde, you have to wait your turn. That's lame. No, Clyde, it's like olden times. You have to wait your turn. Like in the Middle Ages, Clyde. I know it's lame, <laughs> Clyde, but that's how we're fucking doing it. All right, douchebag, bash Clyde's face in. Don't be shy. Use, okay, and then press A. All right. So, A. Come on, fight! My book plus, uh, flashes. Ugh. Oh, hell yeah, Clyde's your bitch. All right, Clyde's wearing armor. In order to hurt him, I want you to hit Clyde as hard as you can. Press X for a power attack, okay. Oh! Oh shit, dude, I think I see blood! Fucking nice, bro. It's exactly what you do to guys with armor like that. Okay, listen up. The key to surviving in battle is not to get hit in the bow. Clyde, it's your turn to attack. Douchebag, protect your bow. Prepare yourself. Suck it! No, no, I said protect. Protect your bow. No, that's uh, not the timing. This is gonna be tricky to get down. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, dude. You're already way better than Clyde. Blocking with some, but not all damage from attack. I'm still like, I'm not sure I have that down yet, but we'll figure it out. All right, it's time to use your heroic powers. Using your ability takes power points, or PP for short. <laughs> PP. <laughs> if you have a fucking better name for them, then fucking say it, Clyde. Fucking asshole. I'm the king, and I say it, PP. Douchebag, use your fighter ability to make Clyde pay for insulting the king. Oh, there we go. Assault the battery. Clubbing for the baseball bat on a success. Deal additional attacks. Wait a that smile 
cut off his stupid face, douchebag. Now do it one more time. Finish him. What? I was going easy. Take this. <coughs> Okay, I see how it works. Okay. It's where you're pushing on the wheel. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, sure. I'm gonna try this again. Die! Worthy juice bag. Now come inside the war tent and I shall let you see the relic. Well, here it is. The reason why humans and elves are locked in a never-ending war. The relic for which human and elf are willing to die. The stick of truth. Just two days ago, we took the stick back from the elves. Our kingdom was dying, but now it thrives. For whoever controls the stick controls the universe. Don't gaze at it too long, for its power is too much for mere mortals to look at. Now that you have seen the Stick of Truth, let's discuss your dues. Being a member of my kingdom costs $9.95 for the first week, $4 of which is tax deductible. Alarm! 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 Someone has sounded the alarm! 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 What is it? The elves are attacking! Oh my god! Defensive position! Oh my god. Douchebag, come help us! <laughs> help us, new kid! Don't steal all my shit in there! I'll come help, fine. Man the gate! Don't let them through! Give us the stick, humans! Fuck you, Drow Elf! Come and get it! Clyde, guard the stick of truth while we defend the fortress! Aye, aye! Aye, aye! We're not playing pirates, Clyde! Douchebag. This is your chance to prove yourself. Hold off the asshole elves at all costs! Ah. What are you looking at, pussy? Ah. Butters! Butters, you're losing! Do it, douchebag. Kick these elves' asses. Ah. You're wounded, douchebag. Potions will heal you. Here. Alright, you sure you can use one item and still attack? Okay, cool. Once you attack, the turn is over. Alright, makes sense. Bruce said you can have one potion every turn. I asked for five, but this was a compromise. This guy's fast, douchebag. Try to block all these attacks. Ah! Okay, if you block all the attacks, you get a counterattack. Look at your enemy on the ground. Weak and helpless. Kick the shit out of him. Awesome, you kicked his helpless ass. Now finish off these elves in the name of the Wizard King. That guy's just standing there. Go kick his ass. Oh, this is a tutorial. All right. <laughs> oh, man, he was totally waiting for you, dude. You can't just hit him like that. And his riposte can counter melee weapon deck. Use arrows or abilities against them. You need to try a different tactic to damage him. Look at that archer hiding behind his friend like a wood. Switch to your arrows, douchebag. Snipe that little bitch. 
Sweet, now you can hit the guy in the back. Go for the pink mitt. Let's go, asshole. Ugh. I'm out. Yeah, bitch, that's what you get for fucking with the Wizard King. Asshole! Careful, douchebag. That guy's ready for your arrows now. You gotta try something else. Thing. He's shielded. Okay, that guy has a shield. Shields are super weak. Just hit them with your simplest hit over and over to wear them down quickly. Shield completely block a number of hits. Use normal abilities or abilities that deal lots of hits against them. Okay. Oh. Hell yeah, that's how you do it. The other elf let his guard down. Now's your chance. Power attack his armor. Armor is damage from each hit. Use power attacks or blades to deal a single large hit against armor. All right. That's it. Now finish him. Stick of truth, the elves got it. That was your one goddamn job, Clyde! To guard the stick of fucking truth! <laughs> Clyde, you are hereby banished from space and time! What? No! You can't do that! Yeah, I can! You're banished and lost in time and space! Yeah, go home, Clyde! You fought bravely on the battlefield, douchebag. Yeah, if you can make me a douchebag, we sure can fight! Shut up, Scott. Nobody cares what you think. Anyways, we have a bigger problem now. The Stick of Truth has been stolen, and we must assemble our entire army in order to get it back. But our three best warriors still haven't reported for duty, my king. Our newest member can take care of that. Douchebag, I want you to go out into the neighborhood and find my greatest warriors, Token, Tweak, and Craig. I'm texting their pictures to your personal inventory device now. But beware. The lands outside are full of marauding drow elves, monsters, and sixth graders. Be sure you're well equipped. Now go, and send my warriors here. Fighters, go with him. All right, well, I'm level two. All right, we got new abilities here. I can upgrade assault and battery. Fruit bag technique increases your damage. Level th that's level two, which I haven't unlocked yet. Or do I already have that? Okay, it gives me a stun maneuver. Bull rush. Charge head first an enemy, having armor, removing shields, and inflating defense down. Point of rotation. Strips buffs from your primary target while taunting all foes, forcing you to attack you without a special abilities. Okay. And ground stomp. Interesting. Alright. Let's, uh... 
Let's upgrade Rochambeau. On a perfect success, you can launch a fault attack that ignores armor and shields. Interesting. Alright. Alright, so we've got letters to find Craig, Token, and Tweak. Oh, damn it. Wrong button. Guess I'm not getting a shot now. You need any weapons or armor? Here's what we're selling today. Alright, I can buy any of these basically if I want to. I'll probably want to upgrade my sword. At a minimum. Yeah, this seems just like it's just better, so yeah. Yeah! I should buy the helmet. All yours. Uh, flare. Can't use those yet. Can't use those yet. Uh, we'll pass on that for now. Two, 50, yeah, okay. And it's three attacks as opposed to a two. Fine. I shouldn't have bought the helmet. Uh, that gives me more armor. I do more damage on stun targets, and I've got Rochambeau. I'm going to leave that for loan for now. We will leave the headband for the moment. Off all the junk that I've got. How may I be of service? Got some pretty good words. How may I be of service? You name it, we'll sell it. Let's see what you've got. Uh -huh. I'm gonna back up to nine bucks. All right, we'll hang on to Clyde's helmet. We may change that later. Ah, quick travel flag. Okay. Kids, be careful now. Uh, this is the king's room. I don't think we're supposed to be in here. What exactly are you looking for? Stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. Wow, Eric has a lot of cool stuff. Oh god, that's awful. Oh 
dear lord. Yeah, this is Cartman's mom's room. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Last week, Cartman's mom was here with a few men having a whole lot of magic. She was doing hand magic and butt magic. <laughs> God. <laughs> Crack pipe, of course. Blunt wig. Purple dye. Antonia Bandera's love doll. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Is that a... Of course it is, Ryu. <laughs> this is where karma does magic. Mm, smells like the wizard is brewing some potion in here. Some wizards do. Oh, looks like he forgot to flush the stew. Cherokee hair town. Oh my god. Alright, now we're... Coffee, speed potion, of course. Of course it is. New message from Clyde. All right, I'm going to end this part of the recording here, folks. We'll be back uh, shortly with uh, part two of my playthrough of South Park, The Sick of Truth. Hope you enjoyed the first part, and we'll see you guys soon. Take care, and uh, see you soon.